gonna go and meet up with Sonny. Heartwarming story. The man himself. What happened? Got diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. Still got my old bike. Sonny is back. Yeah, that's right. From Scotland. <laughs> Sonny's back in the saddle. I feel a bit out of touch. Yeah. Oh, it's good to be riding with Sonny again. You haven't lost your speed. Uh, I had prostate removed. Been on the pop a lot. I'm blindly following Sonny. Oh my god, this is definitely not made for a trail bike. Go to your GP. It's been mint having you back. Even cancer hasn't slowed him down. <laughs> Morning guys, it is 6.30. I've just left my house for Bike Park Wales, where I'm gonna go and meet up with Sonny. He has a story to tell. It's his first sort of decent ride back. It's a um, heartwarming story. I can't wait to tell you. I can't wait to see him. I'm going to see Keith as well. Let's get there. The chilly one today is about zero degrees here in Murphy Tidville. And I can tell I haven't got Todd with me because uh, I've arrived. Well, I've beaten my sat nav by 15 minutes. Actually, about 20 minutes. And I've stopped at McDonald's. And had a brekkie, so that's good going. I'm pretty excited about this, seeing uh, Sonny and Keith. I'm going for a ride. Whilst I wait for Sonny and Keith, I'll just show you any changes I've made to the bike for today. And it's only one. Uh, instead of putting different back wheel on it, because um, Todd and his mate are using the bike today, the uh, e-bike, uh, I have put a cannibal on the back. That's it. Got a trail tire still with a push collar in the front, and that's how she's been ridden today. There he is, the man himself. How long has it been? It's been ages. It felt like forever. So we've had probably what two years of people asking me what's happened to Sonny. Yeah. I've sort of put them off because I didn't want to say. So let's start off with saying what happened. Only briefly, just say what happened and uh, oh. where you are now. Well, we'll get to, get to where you are now later on. Yeah. So originally you got, you felt like shit. Yeah, I felt like shit. I had um, aching, like tough ache in my left testicle. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, not from someone's tooth. Not from someone chewing on it. <laughs> or sucking on it. Yeah. Definitely not sucking on it. Um, and like, I went on from there with blood tests and that, and uh, got diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. Yeah. Um, and, that, and from the beginning of diagnosis to now, when you've had it chopped out, how long has that been? Been. Uh, 18 months. Yeah, 18, 14, 18 months. Yeah. Something like that. And a few more um, health scares and issues in between. Yeah. You know I mean? But uh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Yeah. But you're here now and you're riding. Here and now, throughout I'm riding the... for the first time. Still got my old bike, the old faithful. Borrowed Todd's helmet. Borrowed Todd's helmet. <laughs> Borrowed so... some knee pads off me. Borrowed some knee pads. Got some new RCs. No, they're washed out of the washing machine. <laughs> Got some socks on. <laughs> and now I have to wear a normal brief underpants as well. Well, I'm going to say from all the lads like we're seven year with. Old, the seven year olds wear. <laughs> I'm going to say from all the lads we're with, it's amazing to have you back. And I'm absolutely buzzing. I've been yeah. dying for this moment. Yeah, man. And uh, yeah, Sonny is back. Let's get riding. Yeah, man. So we got a crew with us. Introduction, Rich. Rich, we haven't ridden with you for a while. I think the last time we rode with you was with Sonny. Wasn't it an XC ride round Canuck? Yeah, it probably was, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm Rich. Um, ride Canuck regular. He and you're rich, by, the, all the time. by your accent, you're from Scotland? Yeah, that's right, from Scotland. <laughs> Scotland, I eat. A lot of people, well, I don't know where my accent comes from, but I'm from Great Worley by Canuck originally. Right. But, yeah, I suppose. We're going to have a good day today. Yeah, aren't we? top day today. 
other riders with us introducing introducing keith. keith how you doing you all right yeah yeah you riding with sunny today longer. it's gonna be a good day today i think sunny's back in the saddle ace isn't it hopefully no one has spanner himself yeah and you're not on a big long old tail anymore are no you? no no um yeah back on the transition so it's going well please a bit mullet oh come nice. third uh at hard rock last year on the Friday one, so that was a good result. Oh, good on you. Yeah, nice one, so good day. Other riders, introduce yourself. Sorry, I'm Paul, how you doing? And yeah. you're from, Midlands where are you from? as well. Yeah. Not, not originally. Yeah. Mostly ride Canuck as well. Yeah. Okay. Just out, out chilling. Sound. Other rider, hey. introduction. Rupert. Yeah, Keith from. Keith from Donny Thorpe. Yeah. Heart of the Midlands. Ace. <laughs> and we're on it today. We are, mate. To your heart, it's out saying it. So this is us, Bike Park Wales, on the trail bike. Last time I was here was on the e-bike, only a few weeks ago. And I loved it so much, dying to get back here. Now I'm here. We had to put extra uh, PSI in it, Sonny, for your current, current belly position. Yeah, I've had to put an extra 15 in the front and an extra nearly 50 on the back. Have you? Yeah. You'll soon lose that. Ooh, a bit chilly. In the Defire kit again. Defires, sorry. Said it wrong on my, my last vlog last time. Well, hey! Feel a bit out of touch. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit nicer to lift up than the e-bike. It's like a pleasure putting that on. You know, I've got juice coming out tyres already. It's about the only thing you've got juice coming out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> wrong there, mate. I'll go by the window. Yeah? That was light. Is it? Yeah. Is that large? Yeah. Todd took us to Spain, been nailing it down all that gnarly shit. Warm up on six to pod. Following the man that is sunny. Oh god, it's icy. I hate riding here in the ice. I don't hate it, I just don't like the icy bits. Well, he's not hanging about to start with. I thought it might be slow. I have to remember it is sunny. Absolute lunatic. Whoa! Oh my god, both wheels they drifted on me then. Oh, it's good to be riding with Sonny again. Well, considering he's unfit at the moment, he's not doing bad. Lovely. Nice little warm up. Fair play, man. You haven't lost your speed. Yeah, man. That was impressive. You're right. I had a full on two wheel drift at the top. Clipped in, stayed clipped in, and just yeah. got away with it. How did that feel? Alright, yeah. I thought you'd be stopping halfway down there. Thought you'd blow yourself out. Bit more of the same. Actually feeling really good on this bike today. Being as it's a little light trail bike, might feel really skittery, but I think it's the coil. It makes such a difference. What's the curl then? I can't remember this one at all. It's a red, so a bit more droppy and jumpy, I guess. When me and Todd were here last time, I don't think we rode this. God, we'll have to put a downhill tyre on the back. Woo! So tell us a little bit about what you've had to have done, dude, until we can we ushered onto the van. Um, so I went through all the stages of biopsies and all that. Yeah. And then uh, I had to have my prostate removed. And how did that? I take it there's been a lot of mental health issues yeah, during all this. Yeah, after that, it's just done my head in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not the. Uh, the recovery and side effects after that. Have you had to, have you got a bag still now or not? No. Nah. So that, you got nah. in control of that? But yeah. Oh, it's great. really surprising though, because I went on a little ride for yeah. like 10k last week, my first yeah. ever ride. And um, I was expecting to like piss myself yeah. quite a bit, but um, it, totally the opposite. I was thinking, normally if I sit down on our chair, I'm like, yeah. I have to hold it in. And I thought if I sit on the saddle, it's going to be really bad. But yeah. It's uh, 
it's, it's, it's fine. That's good. On the bike. You've got to take surprising. the positives, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get back on my bike and, you know, slowly lose like the massive weight I've gained. And what about like, are, you know, have you handled it? Have you been like drinking and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I've been. <laughs> are been you on managing the, been on after? The top. Go on, sorry. Been on the pop a lot. Yeah. Uh, after New Year, you're managing to sort of calm it down now. Yeah. Um, since New Year, I've had a couple of drinks. Yeah. That's it. Back in the gym. Back in the gym. I've been once, but felt felt all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Get but, on the uh, fasting. Do the fasting. I totally. Yeah. I, I, I think I think something's going to change yeah. soon because um, you can't lose can't lose that thing there and <laughs> it's not that bad huh fasting's a cheat to get rid of it quicker that's what i think yeah yeah but then um <laughs> you think you soon start eating again that's it yeah it? yeah you have to introduce your food slowly don't you yeah otherwise you end up twice the size here we go melted welly now not quite up to grips with the with the grip just yet and he's on the gas <sighs> i'm blowing sure you haven't been f training <laughs> of, uh, brake manipulation going on here just coming into the bars this reminds me of the old days riding behind Sonny terrified all day trying to keep up with him I don't think uh, even cancer hasn't slowed him down right run up into surfing turd can't believe just hasn't lost any speed. I really would like a downhill tire on the front. Note to self, next time I'm here, just don't trust the grip on the front. There's you go, in Norkel it is. Oh, clip that a bit. Getting a bit better. Definitely a lot easier to clear the stuff on this than on the Ebe. No again. You know, go and see if they'll do it in the shop. Found some trousers for Rich. <laughs> Sign. <Go. laughs> <laughs> Ready to rock again, had a bit of food. They've sorted the, took the air out of Sonny's brake. Hey, man, so like so. there. Ah, and then oh, onto the bar, right, right. got ya. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Right, so we are now heading over across the top to Roots Maneuver. We'll drop straight in. Here we go. I love this top bit. One of my favourite bits of Bike Park Wales is this. Right, that's it. Got this bike so smooth. Wow. I'm blindly following Sonny. One of them tracks that you need to know. Oh god, big hole there. Nice, good pace down there. 
rock slapped me in the shins. Did you? Yeah. I'd say we were going all right down there, considering yeah. neither of us would know it. <laughs> It'd take you a while to learn that, wouldn't it? All yeah. the best lines. Yeah. It's just guesswork, isn't it? Yeah. Chorizo cheesy chips, highly recommend it. Definitely not the best thing for you. Well, it's lovely. Trying this time to try and keep up with him a bit better. But not that easy. Well, hey. Whoa! Nice! Woo! Oh my god, I'm knackered! For those of you who are newer to the channel, I don't know about Sonny from the old days of riding. He's got this weird ability of being able to just carry on when it gets like to the point where you're knackered. It's like he gets stronger. It's really weird. So it's a super strong rider. It's really annoying. Definitely straight line down there. He's gone. The only way I'm going to catch him now is if he gets hand and arm pump and gets tired, which I'm getting anyway. How the f have you got the energy to carry on like that? I was like, right, I'm going to catch him this time, and then he just started pulling away. I was getting heart, arm pump, hand pump, shoulder yeah. pump, everything. I'd say our oh, pace is a bit good at the top. It's just that like weird ability you've got of carrying on through it. I, yeah. I struggle then. That reminded me so much of the rides we used to have, like in Spain and that. So I can feel it there. Yeah. On, on that bit. Yeah. So I haven't done anything for ages. Yeah. You know what I mean? My hands feel like. <sighs> Never had a good workout. God, this bike rides so well. It's so nice this to ride. Feels... If you lived around here, you'd do that like, once a week for training, wouldn't you? It's a good track, lad. It's yeah. a bit of everything yeah. in his hand. Yeah. Like. All them lads were gathered on them rocks. Yeah. And that. Yeah. I thought a car for Binny too. We hauled it through there, didn't we? Yeah. Remember when we was in Morsey? Yeah. And there was that bit that I took you down, you had to go off as if you was going, we was going over into, um, uh, Chateau. Yeah, yeah. And then there was that big, them big rock slabs with that turn. Yeah. And all the people were waiting on there. Yeah. I went round and endowed it round. <laughs> there was like a group of people going, <laughs> None of them, all of them was looking at it, it was so easy. Yeah, if you go, if you slow him down, I might be able to keep up with him. Uh, wibbly wobbly and Keith is in front hopefully holding Sonny up a bit so I can get a bit closer when I'm filming him definitely getting the angle of this bike a bit better now nice Ooh. well the tactic has worked I can stay closer to Sonny The Keith's going well. Uh, play to him. Oh, I like this bit. Fast and furious. Yes. 
this is wicked. Woo! That was mint, boys. Love that, man. That worked a treat. It slowed you down just enough for me to keep up and film you nice and close. Right, what's the curling? This is one we raced down a while ago. Went the wrong way on the gears. Still not totally used to these gears. Whoa. Not sure if that was the double I messed up when I was here racing or if there's another one. If that was it, I'm quite happy. I was holding back for that and it was nothing. Let's catch. Oh, that was a good noise. You're pressuring him. So rough. Brilliant. Right, bit of act duck. having the jumps and everything. Fair play. Oof. Whoa. That's rough. Oh, graph that one. Dim ringer. Oh, that shut me up. Always carrying on. Oh, I'm starting to feel tired down there then. Yeah. You're flying again. Fucking I'm just, I'm feeling a bit beat up now. It's just you have to be used to riding longer trails, don't you? one we're trying to find I think it's there Sonny like that sort of way ES and HS yeah. but we could come down these reds what's that GR well we could go down any of them to get to here right we are on to die hard and I haven't put my goggles on oh, they're on my head nice
Woohoo! Fucking hell! <laughs> Threading the needle! <laughs> Threading the needle down there! Yeah. Hesitated on that uh, gap at the end and come yeah. up right short, yeah. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Nice. Good track, that is. I remember that now. <sighs> I, remember, I must have done that about over five, six years. Yeah, ago. same here. So we tended like, when we first started coming, we started, that's all we did was this side. Yeah, we? yeah. We started building over there. Yeah, that's it. Right, coal not dull. God, I don't know what's on the other end of anything here. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> oh, some big old drops on that one, wasn't there? Yeah. Should we try this one? Yeah, I like deep navigation. I've done it before. This one's super rough. Oh my god. This is definitely not made for a trail bike. Whoa. Oof. Good, aren't it? So we're near the end of the day now. I've run out of memory cards, so I'm not filming. We're going down Bonneville. Sonny, what would you say to anybody who, like our age is worried about, um, you know, prostate cancer or anything similar? Get a check. But apparently, it's a silent. But I've read up on so many things now. So aching lower back, aching in the back of your legs, um, stuff like that which we all get from riding, so don't get paranoid, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, get, get just get your PSA levels done. Well, I got, after you, I found out about you, I went straight and had that, um, I think it's called the Ickle test or something, online. Yeah. We send it here, it's like 20 quid, to check my prostate and other bits and pieces, and I was all clear, so yeah, I think yeah. that's best or advice. just go to, your, go to your GP, Get a finger up the bum. None of that anymore. Oh, it's all blood tests. It's test. all blood tests now. Yeah. And um, even if you want to tell a white lie. Yeah. And say, I've got pains in my testicles or pains down below. Yeah. Uh, in your backside or whatever. Just make a lie up and, and get your bloods done. Well, I think anybody over the age of 50 should go to the local GP or even book private well, my, my, and get like a full MOT check. Surgeon, yeah, definitely. Completely of the whole body. Yeah. My surgeon said that anybody over the age of 45 should have it, but the uh, pharmaceutical companies wouldn't make any money out of it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's what it's all down to. So it's been mint having you back, and I'm hoping we can yeah. get you back. It's good well, fun. both of you go out riding, some adult riding, not just riding with the bloody kids all the time. Yeah, they're, they're too, they're posers. Too, too they're too quick posers now for us, lot. <laughs> do all them jumpy things. Yeah. So we're going to head off down now to the cafe and finish up. Thank you very much for watching. You can do the keep it pinned and smack the camera, boys. Yeah, man.
Come in.